So we've got the women's 200 metres on the way now, and this is the A race, and it is absolutely stacked. Larissa Passer Natsuki has been in the Commonwealth Games this year. Gunter Latisheva Chudari. She finished fifth in the Diamond League in Rome just a few weeks ago. Silver in the University of the World University Games in the 200 metres. Phil Healy's back again. Fourth in the all-time Irish list. Crystal Emanuel as well. Four candidates so impressive in the 100 metres. Phil Healy is fourth in the Irish all-time list in the 200. National record held by Kira Sheehy. So Phil Healy's only second. Um, Seventh fastest on, on the start list. He, on this start list, most of the personal best in this um, start list here are sub 23 seconds. So shows the caliber. If Phil can keep with these girls and do what she did in that 100 meters, we could be seeing definitely a personal best and chipping away at that um, towards that record. National Canadian record for Crystal Emanuel last year, 22.50 when she won here at the Cork City Sports. It is her lifetime best. Her season's best is 22.70, second in the 100 metres last year behind Barbara Pierre. You can see from the tricolour, it's a relatively still night here at CIT and the western reaches of Cork City, knocking around Bishopstown and Wilton a Stone's throw away. But uh, Latisheva Chudari, she was uh, involved in the Latvian Song and Dance Festival last week. Now, 101% of you won't know what that is. It's basically there's a huge stage, there's 40,000 choir singers up in stage, and a watching audience of 100,000. And then when they do the dancing, it's normally in a stadium like this. They have the same thing in Estonia, which I've been at for your research, and they'll have about 5,000 people dancing at that all at once and they use the old athletic stadium in Estonia for that. Kadriorg uh, is the current one where Dundalk won the other night in the Europa League and where we've had the European Team Championships where Ireland's best of running and the under 23s and the juniors, Europeans as well. But also Caelan Whitney, the United States on the outside in lane eight, the Pan Am 200 meters champion from Toronto three years ago also won gold in the 4 by one Joanna Atkins, gold in the 4 by 4 in the World Championships in 2013 for the United States, and two of the last three World Indoors, but not the one that was held in the United States. She won in Birmingham and in Sopot in 2014. Crystal Emanuel then. The reigning champion, bronze in the Pan Ams in the 4x1 in Toronto three years ago, seventh in the 200 metres of the World Championships at the Olympic Stadium in London. Another delay, just like in the 100 metres, these girls are not going to be happy going away from here. Sprinters do not like to be held up behind those starting blocks, so you can see this is where this is where nerves build up, this is where tension builds up, and whoever can stay, the, stay most composed at this stage is going to have the best race, and they're off, finally. I see number 14 there, which is supposed to be worn by Kimberly so Baptiste the Brick. The women's 200 meter Eddie race. Yeah, I spotted that. I think there might have been a. Is Kaylin Whitney maybe not here? I don't know. Maybe has she been replaced? Anyway, so King, Kimberly Baptiste, who was supposed to be in the B race, has been bumped up into lane eight in the A race. It was a PB of 23.40. Pastanaski in one, Latisheva Chidari two, Charmo three, Healy four, Emmanuel five, Atkins Hilton. <laughs> And uh, then Baptiste in this women's 200 metres. Well, Phil Healy will be very competitive in this as he tries and turns over the defending champion, Crystal Emmanuel. It's Healy in four, it's Emmanuel in five, and also going well is Tarbo in three. Healy's fighting for this, but Crystal Emmanuel, the Canadian record holder, 22.50, she's going to take it, and Emmanuel does win it, 22.77. Atkins second, Healy third, and Phil Healy. Well, she's come very close to a lifetime best of 23.17 for absolutely certain, but Crystal Emanuel defends a title well for Canada, 22.77. Yeah, another brilliant race for Crystal Emanuel, and she's happy with that, that 22.77. Bill Healy was in the mix, I, I put her in third or fourth place, but it was a blanket finish in the end, she had a brilliant bend, right up on Crystal Emanuel, who just had a really much better transition onto the 100 than Phil. 
but a brilliant race by Phil Healy to be keeping it up with these girls who have been at Olympic Games, have been world medalists, and I think she might get a, she'd be close to her PB as a result. I hope. I hope I'm not biting my tongue. I think I think you're not far off. She wasn't far off. She was third in the end. Emmanuel, very very impressive. Joanna Atkins in the United States in second position. Emmanuel, whose Canadian record stands from this stadium a year ago. Healy in third position. Tarmo fighting back in fourth place. Yeah, Crystal Emmanuel, really, really powerful. Those last 10 metres, she was so powerful, more like a 60 metre sprinter. Way with bated breath to see what Phil Healy pulls out. Will she be closer to that? second Irish record this year in the 200 metres to match her 100 metre record. We wait and we see. We can tell you Phil Healy has broken the Irish record. She's just become the first woman ever from Ireland to break that 23 second barrier. We don't know the official time yet. Yes, it's not come up, but you can see. All that matters is the record. She is on the big screen here. Let's take a good look at this 200 metres again. Now, Phil Healy finished third, by the way. From the host nation point of view, it's all about Phil Healy. Watch her here in lane four. Her lifetime best, 23-17. Sarah Riley with the Irish record from Edmonton. The World Champions, 2001 of 23.02. It looked fast, 22.77 the winning time, and just hitting 23 seconds. It's not come up on our screen, and it's not come up on uh, your live results system either yet but it has come up on an internal one uh, we, inside the track. We can tell you it's a sub-23, but we don't know the exact, but first woman to break that elusive 23 barrier that is so, so many people have been so close to. So, again, another brilliant result by Phil ahead of those championships in Berlin. In the, summer. the result of the women's 200 metres, Crystal Manuel of Canada wins 22.75, Joanna Atkins second for the United States, 22.90, and a new Irish record for Phil Healy, 22.99. So the men's 200 to come, Phil Healy with a new Irish record. Phil, amazing. First Irish woman to break 23 seconds. How does it feel? Absolutely amazing. Like, that's the second national record in a few weeks. And 22.99, like, dipping under 23. And even the conditions, like, there's a massive headwind on the bend. So I was absolutely thrilled to finally get the time of 22.99. How special it was that the crowd were on their feet all roaring you. Absolutely amazing. And even turn around and everyone standing is... Like it's special and to do it here in Cork home turf is absolutely brilliant. I think everybody will want to know what is the secret to this good form. Like I moved to Waterford this year, so definitely around Shane my coach, so that's definitely the main reason and my training partners and just the whole group of us together feeding off each other. So it's just bringing us all on leaps and bounds between the boys and the girls and um, it's just absolutely brilliant. So and the international field, the strong field must help. Absolutely like how Crystal Emmanuel right beside me and she'd run 22-7 in the recent Canadian Championship so I knew if I chased her down that the quick time could be there and I was absolutely thrilled. Congratulations Phil.